Well, as Maya would say, wow, wow, wow. The best thing about this whole exercise is how many memories it triggers and how many people you remember. Uh, first, I want to congratulate uh, this year's fellow inductees. They're amazing careers and stories, and it's a total privilege to be part of this class. Awesome to be inducted with the Bobby Ursel team right out there. One of the first elite teams that I got to work with. Congratulations, guys. Most deserved. Um, those that know me know that I'm thrilled to be inducted to the hall where my, where my wife, Doreen McCannell, and her dad, Don McCannell, have preceded me. When I started my pitch to conv convince Doreen to date me, it took a while. She was too fast in the long blades for me to catch, and fortunately, with persistence and support from her dad, I finally caught the love of my life. It also took a while to catch up with Doreen in the Hall of Fame, 21 years. I must have been faster earlier, I don't know. <laughs> uh, after, but after lives and careers in sport, uh, which has been both of us, hall membership with your soulmate is a very special privilege. Now, the late, great Jack Donahue was one of the first national coaches that I got to work with. And he said to me, Cal, if you hang out with the right people, they will make you look good. Now, that was a great piece of advice. I mean. It became the story of my life. I've enjoyed the privilege of working with and learning from countless dedicated athletes, coaches, and teams from Manitoba, Canada, and the world. For sure, they have made me look good. I'm, for, I'm forever grateful for the opportunities these amazing people and performers have provided. We learned together, and they have made me who I am. Partners in performance in life, thank you for your grace, your openness, courage, and sharing teamwork and trust of the highest kind. Hanging out with the best people is also the story of my mentors, my colleagues, and grad students. Their interests kept me recovering, drawing lessons, and getting better at what we do. The universities of Manitoba, Alberta, Calgary, and Winnipeg, the Canadian Sports Centers, the Coaching Association of Canada, and St. John's Ravenscourt School all played important roles in my development. The place where hanging around with the right people had the biggest payoffs was with family. They have been a daily source of unselfish support, perspective, and inspiration throughout my career. I'm part of four amazing families, the McCannells, the Bottrells, the McDonalds, and the Lamonicos. I could not have asked for more. Each time I'm introduced to make a speech, people search my bio for any signs that I might be famous. I have to point out that I'm the least famous person in our family. So I trust you realize that this induction into the Hall of Fame is a really big deal for me. <laughs> when you're part of an overachieving family, I mean. So uh, Doreen, Jason, Jennifer, Adrian, Andrea, grandkids, and Grandma McCannell, now 92 years young, you guys are the best. Also at our table tonight are three members of the Carrie Anerson curling team. <laughs> Carrie, Liz Fife, and Kristen McCush. Uh, the Ursel team made me look good in 1985 with the World Junior Championship. 31 years later, Carrie's team is the latest curling team to make me look good by winning provincials last year and finishing in the final four at the Scotties Nationals. Um, in between, I had the privilege of working with the Jennifer Jones team. What a thrill it was to watch this team in the Olympic trials in 2013 and then go undefeated in the Sochi Olympics. Sochi, Sochi Olympics. Amazing consistency and performance at the highest level. With us tonight are Don McEwen and Jill Officer and Caitlin Laws at 37. <laughs> of that Olympic gold medal team. Don, Jill, and Caitlin are incredible professionals. Uh, these ladies were a, a, a treat to work with, and I want to tell you, they deserve everything they've accomplished. I'm gr it's great that you could be with us tonight. Um, so many thanks to the Hall of Fame Selection Committee and nominators for bestowing this honor on me. 
To be included with the character, the talent, and the history that constitute the hall is the stuff of dreams. I am forever grateful. When I was a notifi first notified about my induction, it triggered memories of both the agony and the ec ecstasy that are part of sport. For sure, the special moments of ecstasy I have shared with people will never be forgotten. But my reflections turned quickly to the thousands of hours working with performers to help them find meaning in agony. For every winner, there are hundreds who strive and miss their goals. And as part of our role to sensitize them that striving is noble for its own sake and delay doesn't mean denial. Thanks for this special honor and for the opportunity to reflect on countless motor matters, moments that mattered. It's been an amazing journey. There are so many to thank. Thank you all.